Hi Gemini, welcome to your reading. It's a lovely Sunday afternoon, so I thought let's have a relaxing um, reading today and see what's going on with Geminis. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages and different kinds of videos I post each month. I'll leave information regarding what decks of cards I use in the description box. So go ahead, guys, and check that out there for the information you may need. So, Gemini, awareness. We have this huge awakening going on. Um, this is the magician in the normal deck and related to your first house. You deciding to make things happen and not waiting for things to happen here, I feel. Let's see. Things definitely starting to manifest for you. Firm foundation here. Okay, so this is the Four of Pentacles. Um, it's something you can't let go of. Um, so it might be like a dream if it's to do with a job or career and things, or even love. Like This is something that has a fir firm foundation in your life and you can't seem to let go of it. It's manifesting into your life now. Let's see, where is this going, Gemini? Intuition, that's card two. So this is something you need to trust your own intuition on. It's like readings. If they resonate, good. If they don't, leave it. Don't try and make them fit, right? Um, so this has gone one, two. So raising your intuition here, your awareness, um, brings you um, what you desire. Because I think like where once you couldn't let go and it was a blockage, Right now, I feel like you're just trusting with this intuition and this awareness. You're like, I finally get it. It's like, I'm going to make things happen by manifesting these things into my life. I'm not just going to hold on to them and they're not going anywhere. I'm going to manifest them. So it's like putting action behind your desires. Very good thing to do is how we call whatever it is into our life. It could be something for you personally. It might be getting fit. Um, getting in shape, things like that, because we've seen the card one being about self. We've seen the card two, could be about your career. So your first and second house active there. And the card four, um, so maybe moving home or some big change happening in your foundation, in your home life. Let's see. Five of cups. Um, this is crying over spilt milk. I feel like this is just like a point you get to where... It's not good enough for you, so you make the change happen. We all have to get there, right? This is sadness and missing somebody here. I feel you're quite lonely with that Five of Cups if it's relating to you. It could be relating to a cross watcher, so it could be somebody's feelings for you, somebody missing you here. King of Wands could be um, a fire sign missing you here. Um, it's difficult because... Uh, the King of Wands wants to take action, but I feel like ego's getting in the way of saying, I miss you. So it's like, misery loves company. They're sitting in quiet, not saying that they miss you. Or it, it could be you. Be accountable if you are missing somebody, but you're not talking or taking action. Um, yeah, Queen of Pentacles here as well. It's like somebody felt the differences are too much between us. I'm a king of wands. You're a queen of pentacles. Um, the differences was too much. So it's like, I'm, I'm missing you, but I'm not taking action. Why are they not taking action? And they're in this queen, king of wands energy. It can be quite full of ego as well. So this person might be full of ego. Um but it's sort of like trapping you energetically. Look at this uh, Queen of Pentacles here. She's got like this chain around her neck. So I feel like they're hold it might be them holding on to you and trapping you energetically as well. Um, King of Swords now. Okay, so we see that they could be with a third party and missing you. That's crazy, right? Um, it's at one time you would have wanted to reach out to them, but you might be quite cold to them right now, okay? Um, you might just be distant from them, but it's like this, energetically, there's still this connection and nobody's saying, I miss you, but they, you do miss each other. 
maybe because of a third party. There's three people here already in the beginning of the reading. Um, Four of Swords, not taking any action. I knew it. It's, like I said, missing each other, but I'm never going to say it. They could have unfairly treated you with the King of Wands and the Four of Swords there, leaving you needing healing. They could have left and then cut you off to be with this third party. And you might have grown quite cold. I feel like you would have communicated with them at some point, but now you're not taking any action towards them here. We just have the Queen of Wands reversed, the Empress reversed, and the Seven of Wands. Um, that's upright. Um, so, yeah, it seems like you two was a good fit for each other at one point and somebody has stepped in. Um, there was a lot of passion between you, a lot of attraction between you here. The seven is related to your seventh house with romantic relationships here and numerology and uh, spiritually seven is a challenge. So somebody come in and you had to fight for this person and you felt like, I'm an empress, I'm not going to fight for something that, you know, something like this. I'm not going to fight over a man or a woman. I shouldn't have to. And I guess that's why <clears throat> you'll miss them in quiet. You're affecting my throat chakra, so you guys do want to talk and clear things up. The King of Swords energy wants to be clear, wants to talk, wants to communicate, but it can be quite cold, so it's like... If you're not talking to me, I won't talk to you. And that's creating more challenges in the connection there. The hermit. Yeah, you're just like, I'm in hermit mode. I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to grow spiritually. I'm going to look after myself here. I'm not going to make any action towards anybody. It's quite interesting that you're missing each other and both of you are refusing to contact the other one it's like i think they're with somebody else and you're in hermit mode but you miss it let's have a look with some more cards because you're missing each other terribly um quite sad with the five of cups that's things like building up in your life as well um, the strength reverse. So during this time, you might start to feel um, like when you're missing somebody and you feel like not weak, but overwhelmed even here. So the feelings of being overwhelmed, um, stuck with this connection because this is the two of pentacles now, um, along with both of you not taking any action. Um, it's like you decided long ago to be together and then you're not because challenges entered the relationship, um, but neither of you are making any moves. So let's say if you was legally married, it's like um, you haven't seeked a divorce yet. Um, but it could be overwhelming you now with sadness that they're with somebody else and you miss them and you can't even speak to them. They're missing you too. But it's like somebody decided we're just too different or something here. It's very sad, very challenging times for you um, that I feel like you're going through. Even maybe contacting a solicitor may bring up this sadness. Good luck, guys.